welcome to my channel again. Uh, if you're new, uh, make yourself a home. Uh, if you've seen my first video, then you know that I am on my way to <clears throat> a weight loss surgery. So I'm starting that journey with you guys. Um, but another one of my interests is makeup. Um, and I've always wanted to do one of these. So I'm just going to do my daily kind of get up for you guys. I will also show you how to get rid of tan lines like these. They're not uh, cute. You can probably see them. I'm sure it's not hard. Um, but I can get rid of those using the same bronzer I used to contour. Just going to finish up my uh, base and then I'll come right back with you guys. Um, what the fuck? Oh, I thought those lights were going off and on. That's, that's weird. I don't really use primer. I don't, not just not really. I, I don't use primer. Um, I, I, makeup is an interest, not really, I'm not going to be like a makeup guru or anything, but uh, like I said, I want to do my daily routine with you guys, so I put on my base, uh, the next thing I do, sometimes I conceal, sometimes I don't, in the, in the, in the summer I don't find myself needing to use uh, highlighter, I use highlighting powder, but like um, highlighting concealer or um, in the areas that you would um, not contour, if you know what I mean. I don't I don't find myself needing that as much, so I, I kind of stay away from that as well. So I'm just gonna take my bronzer here, which is actually, it's Physician's Formula, you can, you can find it, it's pretty cheap. And it's actually, it's, um, if you can see that there, it's actually a foundation powder, but this color is perfect to use as bronzer. I like a more natural bronzer. Um, I think one of my favorite bronzers I've used was the uh, Hula Powder. Uh, I think that's my favorite the Hula bronzer. But so, um, I just go kind of right above where my natural one is. Try to give myself a little facelift. And I just bring it all the way around um, kind of the angles of my face because I have a fatter face, naturally. So I bring it around and down. And then just I kind of just start blending towards the ear and hairline. Yeah, I know my baby hairs are getting away, but I'll live. I usually gel them down anyway, so it'll get their color back. Oh my god, no one told me that my Nose ring was crooked. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. And I just call me a ghetto or whatever, but I just use my finger for my nose contour. Mm, snatch. Snatch. Okay. <sighs> oh. And then I use the same foundation. And then if I'm like going out and I need to be long lasting, god damn it. And I need it to be long lasting, I'll spray some um, either water, rose water, or some other sort of setting spray here where my tan line is. And then I'll just bring that same foundation lightly over it. Um, but since I'm not going out, I don't really, I'm not gonna spray it down. But essentially, that's how you would set it, right? Okay. I mean, you can still kind of see that because I've got such great lighting, but um, it would do in any normal situation, right? Like I said, I just don't want it to be a huge eyesore. I'm going to blend this out some more. I think it's a little too harsh for my liking. Um... I love blush. Me and my friend, my bestie, actually talk about blush a lot and how it's come back into the picture of the makeup world, uh, or it's at least more prominent now. And we like it because it kind of makes it, it pulls together your 
natural skin tone and your bronzer and it just makes you look so much more natural uh, as long as you as long as you have the right colored bl uh, blush as long as you've got the right colored blush all right you guys I got my blush here I don't do much on a daily basis I just put that on the apple of my cheeks using the side of my brush And then I just swirl, 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 swirl. Yeah, and I think it just brings it together. All right. Let me know what you think about my makeup, cause I mean, I watch. I've never been like a beauty guru watcher. I I, I dabble. I watch it here and there, but um. I don't know all the techniques that I should. I probably don't use the right brushes, so sue me. Yes, I just put blush on my nose. Um, again, I think it gives that natural-ish look. And then I'm going to um, I mean, aside from this, you guys, I just threw on some mascara, which I kind of already have on from the day, uh, and then some lipstick and uh, highlighter. I'm done. So I'm just going to do that, and I'll be back. Okay, I did my highlighter already, guys. Um, I just wanted to uh, actually let you guys know about this lipstick. This is my favorite lipstick ever it's actually called lip paint it's by Tarte I always get the same colors over and over and over again uh, this is my favorite it's called rave um, dang I don't know if you guys can see that but you know what that's all right um, it's rave and again it's Tarte it's Tarte Tarte lip paint focus in there tart lip paint um, it's one of my favorites and then there's another color that's very similar to this uh, it's, it's just a, a more brown hue as opposed to purple and it is called uh, choker so rave and choker those are my favorite lip paints from Tarte really that's the only lip stuff that I use and then sometimes I'll put like another alternate color in the, in the crease right here to give it an ombre effect but that's when I'm feeling froggy Right. <clears throat> Another thing I forgot to say and mention actually is the fact that I um, I switch. I know this is a big no-no in the makeup world. Everybody does their eyebrows. Um, I I don't do my eyebrows half the time. Um, I mean, I think when I prefer to do my eyebrows is when I'm going full glam eyeliner and uh, falsies you know the whole the whole shebang and I know that that's weird because a lot of people tend to do their eyebrows even in their daily routine and I think I actually used to be one of those people but here lately I just I kind of go with what I got right I kind of just go with what I got and this is the look And when I do do my eyebrows, it isn't anything special. I just kind of, I use one of the either Maybelline or L'Oreal uh, makeup pencils. Um, I mean, eyebrow pencils, excuse me. Um, they're just the twistables with the spoolie on the end, on the opposite end. Um, really easy on the go, your average eyebrow. So, this is um, my finished look. And actually, this is what I would be wearing to work on most occasions. I'm a claims adjuster, by the way, you guys. I don't know if that means anything to you. But I'd also include that right there because we can't go to work looking all puck, right? This is the finished look. We'll just put her in a bun. Yes, I gave, I gave her a name. I, I put her in a bun, not it. My hair has a life of its own. And then I'm ready to go. So, 
Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys have any other ideas, I'm relatively new uh, to the YouTube world. Just um, let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see from me. So just comment below. Um, my Instagram can be found below. I've got a lot of salad recipes that I don't mind sharing. Um, and you'll, you'll see, you'll have access to those via Instagram. Um, and I'll also have uh, any other information you need on hand if you need it. You can find me at my best when I'm naked.